box of bags of these sitting around that you bought a few months ago and now you're kind of just keep looking at them sitting in your pantry and thinking I really need to just go ahead and cook those and then you don't because maybe you're not for sure how to cook them. Um, I'm making this tonight for supper so I thought that would be a quick easy video to make um, show you how I cook pinto beans and I also cook um, northern beans this way basically the same way too and um, just a little background <laughs> on my family and bento beans is that especially if any of y'all were friends with me growing up you probably remember any time that you came to my house as a kid there was never a time when my mom didn't have these on the stove like it was basically always at least an available option to have a side of pinto beans with your supper like oh look we have spaghetti oh there's some pinto beans if you want that to go with it <laughs> there was a few times growing up that i would probably more than a few times that i remember waking up and coming into the kitchen and my dad would be sitting at the breakfast table eating pinto beans and biscuits i am absolutely sure that my mom cooked pinto beans probably three times a week so they're just always available. So I've watched her cook them a million times. Um, both my grandmas cook pinto beans quite often. Um, and there is kind of an art to cooking beans. Um, if you don't cook them the right way, you don't cook them long enough and slow enough, um, they are really gonna be pretty gross. They're, they can have a very strong flavor. So when you cook them low and slow, um, and a few other tips I'm going to give you that will taste much better and um, yeah I ate them so much as a kid that when I graduated and moved away I literally swore I would never eat pinto beans again like I was so sick of them and now here I am cooking them for my own family mainly because I realized they're really cheap they're good for you um, and my family loves them in fact one of my daughters even asked for pinto beans and cornbread as part of her birthday meal. So yeah, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you um, what I do to get these um, guys started in the pan. Beans have like a little flavor pack in, in them. I don't even usually use that, but the first thing that you need to do with your beans is you need to um, pour them out. flavor pack okay and then um, your beans I put them in the pot I'm planning on starting them in and I search through it I'm making sure that I don't see any um, rocks sometimes there can be little white pebbles that have gotten left in with these beans and you don't want anybody to like break a tooth so you want to search through them and make sure there's, you don't see any rocks. and I want to rinse them off to do is I'm going to fill this um, about halfway with water and I'm going to put it on the stove and bring these to a rapid boil to a really hard boil okay so I have the pot filled halfway I'm going to take it over to the stove and turn it on high okay guys so I have the beans covered with water I have it on high and I'm going to bring this up to a rapid boil for 30 minutes. And you want to make sure that you keep an eye on this because all the water will boil out and your beans will just burn and stick to the bottom and stink really bad. <laughs> so keep an eye on these. Um, stir them occasionally. You don't need to add anything else to these because we're actually going to pour this water off. But turn it up to high and let it boil for 30 minutes. Okay guys, while I'm waiting on those beans to um, come to a boil, I'll go ahead and show you the other things I'm going to be using when I'm cooking these pinto beans. Butter, a stick of butter. Um, some bacon, but you do not have to use bacon. You can use any type of um, 
pork. I mean, you can use ham. Um, I usually save like bits and pieces when I cook a ham. Um, the leftovers, I just go ahead and freeze it and then I pull that out I, and you can even put the frozen ham into the crock pot with the beans and it will thaw out in plenty of time. I've even used like a few slices of Spam. I've used um, ham that was like lunch meat ham. Um, let's see, bacon. If you don't have any meat at all, at the very least you want a whole stick of, of real butter. Um, so I have some form of meat, um, butter salt um, and I'm going to be using a crock pot so I'm starting these on the stove just to really soften them up um, and get them going and then I'm going to move them over to the crock pot and that's when I will be adding um, these three items in the crock pot and I'll let them cook all day long um, so um, that's all you really need are those few things and yeah I'll get back with you as soon as these hit a boil. Okay guys, the beans are boiling. So I'm gonna start my clock for 30 minutes and I'm gonna keep an eye on these. If the water starts to get low, um, I will just keep adding a cup of water here and there as needed. But these are gonna boil continually for 30 minutes. Okay guys, while I'm waiting those um, beans to start a boil, I thought I'm gonna come on out here and grab some onions. We always eat onions with our pinto beans. So we'll go ahead and grab a few of those out of the garden and um, then we'll get back inside and check those. Hey guys, so my beans here, they've been boiling for, whoop, the steam is fogging up my phone here. If we can zoom in. Okay guys, so the beans have been boiling for 30 minutes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to um, strain these beans. I want to pour off all of this liquid. Um, this liquid is what would actually make these beans taste really strong and so I'm going to pour all of these off, rinse these beans, and then put them back in here for 30 more minutes. Hey guys, I took these straight off of the stove. They boiled for 30 minutes. I'm going to just pour this into a colander. I'm going to get rid of all of the um, the liquid that was on those. I'm going to rinse them. I'm going to put these back in the same pot. Okay. All right, there they are, and I'm going to fill them. Um, fill this back up with water. You can tell they've already expanded quite a bit. So I'm going to fill this back up with water and boil them um, for 30 more minutes. Okay, so I have them just covered with water and they're going back over to the stove for 30 minutes. Okay guys, so the beans are back on the stove. And they are back to a hard boil. I'm going to keep an eye on these for 30 more minutes. Make sure that the water does not um, all evaporate. That will make your beans burn and stick to the bottom. So you want to keep an eye on them. Stir them occasionally. At the end of 30 minutes, these are going to go in the crock pot. Okay guys, the beans have been boiling for 30 more minutes. I'm going to take them directly off the stove and pour them in my crock pot. Okay, um, if you can see in the crock pot, they are 
they're just covered with water by about that much. You don't want them to be um, have so much water in it that it will never cook down. But you also um, don't want to not have enough liquid in it because then they could cook dry. Um, so even though I'm putting them in a crock pot, I will check on them in two or three hours and see if they're getting low on water, then I will add a few cups of water to it. So I have put those whoops in my crock pot. My crock pot is on. I'm going to put it on high um, so they can really continue to cook. And I'm going to add a decent amount of salt here. And I'm also going to add about um, three slices of bacon. Okay, and I'm just going to drop that, drop it in there. Um, and then actually the butter, I will probably, I'm going to put half of the butter in right now and then I will save the other half of the stick for the last hour that the beans are cooking. Um, so I'm going to cut this in half and put half of it in here. So that's just I'm going to drop it in there and close the lid and I'm going to let this cook on high in my crock pot for at least um, seven to eight hours. Um, you could put it, also put it on low and let it cook all night long um, but since it's already midday right now I'm just going to put it on high and then it's going to cook the rest of the day and I'm going to make sure the water is not getting um, too low because we don't want them to be dry. And that is it and I will check back in with you guys later today and show you the finished product.